What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. Short edition, five minutes or less. Y'all got to stick around to the end. I promise you won't regret it. <laughs> In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you should not take the narcissist bait, old pictures, songs, videos, memories of the good times. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. So I say this all the time or something like this all the time. Don't take the narcissist bait. And what I mean by bait is exactly this right here. Two years later, sending her pictures that they took together. People ask me all the time, like, how long will the narcissist pursue you? When, when would they give up and things like that? And I tell them all the time that there is no set timetable on when they will give up. So in order to stay relevant in your life, they'll send you old pictures. They'll send you songs. They'll send you letters. They'll send you things from the beginning of your relationship when times were better. Because that's what narcissistic people want you, want you to do. They want you to focus on the good times. Remember when we did this? Remember when we did that? So you forget the bad times. They want you to forget the bad times and remember the good times because that can help them get back into your life in some way, shape, or form. And like I said before, there's no time limit. They don't, they don't. Sometimes they won't ever give up. You have to force some people to leave you alone. So in conclusion, don't take the narcissist bait. And it's all bait. Any kind of picture, video, text message, anything. Screenshots, what? So do not take the narcissist bait. Y'all see in that video right there. Y'all see what she said. She said that it's been two years and this person just sent me a picture that his sister sent him two years later to try to bait her into responding. Narcissistic people want you to focus on the good times. Remember that time we were on the beach and, the ch and there were just the cheeks clapping to the sound of the waves and things like that. You remember those good times? That you, they want you to remember that good time because immediately after you left the beach, they gave you the silent treatment or they beat on you or they hit on you and things like that. They want you to forget the bad times. They want you to focus on the good times, the good memories. Because yeah, y'all, there could be a lot of good times in toxic relationships that's how they get you to stay with them because you get focused when you're in when you're in a relationship with them you focus on the good times that's why it's hard to let narcissistic people go because you know they are capable we are capable of giving you a good life sometimes we are capable of being good to you and nice to you and making you laugh and making you smile and things like that we are capable of doing that so you hold on to the potential that we can do that again maybe if i if i maybe if i stay long enough uh, they'll change back to who they used to be. So when you get out of a relationship, the narcissistic person still wants you to focus on the good times so you can get hoovered back into a relationship. If you don't know what a hoover is, is when a narcissist sucks you back into a relationship dynamic like a vacuum cleaner, like the Hoover vacuum cleaner, or the dirt devil, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? So don't take the bait because when all else fails, when they when crying doesn't work, when begging doesn't work, when pleading doesn't work, They'll resort to sending you the good times, the good memories, pictures of the kids and things like this. If y'all if y'all are co-parenting and they have the kids, they'll send you happy smiling pictures of the kids together with them. Just like, uh, we only missing mommy or we only only thing missing in this picture is daddy. They'll try to hoover you back through the kids. It's all bait. It's just like they're fishing. They try they, and they will try just like just like a, an expert angler, the expert fisherman, narcissistic toxic people will try different bait. If one bait doesn't work, let's try a different bait. If this old video doesn't work, let's try an old picture of us. If this old picture doesn't work, let's try our, old, our first song from the, the our first dance song from the wedding. If this doesn't work, let me send you the address to our very first restaurant that we had dinner at, or, well, or the first place we met at. Things like that. I'm telling you, don't take the bait because bait they, they haven't changed. <laughs> You're just taking the bait. They're sending you good times and memories and they still are the same exact person they were when you broke up with them or they left you for somebody else. However the relationship ended, they're still that same person. No matter how much time has went by. This person said it was two years, they can wait eight, nine, ten years. I saw somebody in my comment section said 20 years later to send some bait, some baiting ass video or picture or something like that. So don't fall, don't take the bait, y'all. Anyways, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I really truly appreciate every single one of y'all because as much as y'all say y'all learn from me, I promise you I'll learn even more from y'all. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.